sort of see computational molecular phenotyping uh, at a place in metabolomics where genetics was 30 years ago. The ability to visualize metabolism is something that uh, is not is underappreciated. It's a very powerful uh, technique that um, is uh, humbling in that it reveals so much diversity. The discovery, the application of that to certain disease processes like uh, retinal remodeling has completely changed our understanding of what happens to retinas in retinal disease like retinitis pigmentosa and macular degeneration. And we're optimistic for a similar sort of understanding from other tissues that remodel like cancer. The idea is that you multiplex the signals and probe for a lot of small molecules at the same time, but we preserve all the anatomy. So if there's one cell that's doing something very different, we can actually see that cell. Whereas in the chromatography approaches, that one cell signal is averaged out in all the signals around it. We're, we're looking uh, for that opportunity right now, and it may be in tissue biopsies, it may be in uh, refining diagnoses for cancer. There's um, a number of potential applications in the organ transplant business. Uh, you know, when is a when is an organ optimal for transplant? When is it too late? Uh, are there things that we can do to sort of test interventions to prolong the life of organs in, in uh, transplant situations? There are agronomic possibilities, um, looking at pesticide resistance, looking at um, you know when is the right optimal time for for storage or ripening for harvest lots of potential applications. Uh, it's, it's an early stage technology right now. In metabolomics, we think we're sort of uh, an early nascent stage uh, where we're starting to build the tools that people will then use uh, for further investigations down the road. So um, right now, uh, what we need is uh, some more resources to continue sort of finding the optimal uh, leverage point and finding the optimal market for the technologies. They're powerful technologies. Uh, we know they work. They work across all tissues. Uh, they work across species, across kingdom. They work in plants. Uh, in fact, you know, the images derived from plants look like you know, these beautiful stained glass windows. So uh, there's a lot, that, a lot of potential. And uh, uh, we're looking right now for uh, potential applications. So far, uh, these technologies are absolutely unique. Um, they have the sensitivity of traditional HPLC uh, and, and even some more sophisticated uh, approaches to signal detection. Uh, but the power that they bring by preserving the anatomy, the anatomical context, is unparalleled. There's nobody else in the market uh, that has that potential.